Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and this is another video in the series of videos I'm doing on the Divi theme. This one's pretty basic. I'm gonna show you how to add a logo and customize the header area of uh, a new Divi website. And this is gonna be helpful for people who are just getting started with the Divi theme and getting started with a new website. This will be a pretty basic video, so it's gonna be helpful for those who are just getting started with a new website using the Divi theme. So when you install Divi, it's gonna look something like this. This is just a blank page with the Divi default logo. I like to set the logo and then add some color to the top menu, um, even before I start building, even if it's gonna change in the future, which it probably will, I like to just get that set to get me kind of in the mood uh, to build a site for that brand. Just, it's nice to have the logo at the top as we uh, get started with a new website. So to add the logo in Divi, you'd log into the dashboard and you go to the Divi menu and click on theme options. And the first item is adding the logo. So you can click upload. I've already uploaded the image, so it's in the media library. But if you're searching for a file on your computer, you can drag it right here after clicking upload files or click select files to browse your computer. I'm just gonna add this logo. So it added the URL, click save. Now if I go in to the page and refresh, you can see the logo here. And you notice right off the bat, it's kind of small. So the way to change um, the style and different settings for the header is to go into the dashboard and go to theme customizer. You can also find that by going to appearance, customize. The customizer is gonna give you these settings on the left while showing you a preview on the right. So we could go into the header navigation. Under primary menu bar, I could change the height of the menu and that's gonna make the logo larger. And I can also change the height of the logo right here under logo max height. I can also change the size of the text. I can change the font. I'm just gonna leave it on default for now. There's also letter spacing. And in a previous video, I showed you how to set the default colors to match your color theme. In this case, just the three colors in this logo I'm using. So there's some settings down here for the main menu. So like the text color and here are the colors I already set in my default palette. So they're already showing right here. So I might change the text color just to the blue color to match the logo. So the active link is just the color of the page you're on in the menu. So if I were to click on contact or home, you could see it changes for the active uh, page. Some other changes here, like you can add a background color if you wanted, but I'm gonna leave that as white. Drop down menu color, and then I'll mention a few other things here. You can make it full width, and there are a few header formats like centered, centered inline logo, slide in, which is a slide in menu on the right and full screen, which is a full screen menu. So you can play around with those options, but these are some good things to do when you're just getting started with a new Divi website. And again, the reason I like it is because if I go to create a new page using the Divi builder, I'm gonna publish this page and then go to um, edit it with the Divi builder and you'll see at the top, I'm gonna have just the logo and the menu. So I can just kind of be in the right frame of mind, um, colors and branding to start building out that page. So hopefully that helps you get started with your uh, new Divi website. I'm gonna link to the video I mentioned where I customize the default colors in the Divi theme so that you can then work with those colors throughout the process of building your site. So I'll link to that video here and we'll see on that one.